Hello, good evening. Um, Dave Dawn here, as you might guess, and I've just checked, and I am actually live. Good evening, everybody. I can't see chat, I just wanted to fill you in what's been happening during the course of the day. If you were watching VT Talk, no, if you were watching Dave's Tackle Box last night, you'd have heard Dave and I talking, and I was trying to drop some very broad hints. You now know what those hints were about, but let me just cover them again for you quite quickly. The Lithuanian presidency has asked the commission to draft some documentation which was leaked and the, um, the leak and the documentation is available both at Clive Bates's blog and the nicotine policy site uh, Jerry Stimson's place. There's links off to it there and I'm sure links will appear in chat. But the bottom line on this is these are the recommendations that are the starting point for further negotiations which happen on the 3rd of December. These proposals that the Lithuanian Presidency and the Commission have come up with will allow only single-use cartridges, no refillable units, no tanks, none of the kind of stuff that we use on a daily basis. That? No. That means no juice that can be sold in the EU. It allows only for flavours that are already approved for use in NRT unless those flavours are attractive to children and non-smokers. Um, who decides? Who indeed? It limits the nicotine density, the nicotine concentration to 20 milligrams per milliliter maximum without any justification whatever. That's even worse than the 30 milligram that was proposed in Amendment 170. All right, it's better than the 4 milligram that we started with, but it's completely arbitrary. And it limits the nicotine content of any cartomizer, because there would only be cartomizers that would be allowed, to just 10 milligrams in a unit. And that is effectively two fags worth, if you want to do a cigarette equivalent. And again, it's extremely limited. But it gets worse than that because it then allows only devices that deliver nicotine doses consistently and uniformly. Let me tell you something now. Nothing currently on the market does. Cigarettes don't. In fact, uh, according to Dr. Farsalinos, that is almost impossible to comply with. It basically means it's an outright ban. It bans all advertising in press or printed publications, except trade publications, on radio and on TV and other audiovisual services and the internet through information society services. Guess what Vapotrails.tv is? It's an information society service. We would be banned. It bans e-cigarette sponsorships that have cross-border impact. Anything that might be shown on TV would make it very difficult. And there are all kinds of other limitations. But effectively, effectively, this is a ban. It is a de facto ban. They are talking about any of the juices that are used in these things would have to be completely free of all impurities. Let me tell you that NRT is not completely free of all impurities. Lots and lots of tests have shown NRT, the likes of gums, patches, the inhalators, even the new thing you put on your tongue, all have traces of tobacco-specific nitrosamines in them. So by saying that, it's impossible to comply. This is, in effect, an outright ban. So what can you do to stop this from happening? Very simple. As we said last night, you need to contact your MP. You can't just sit there, contact them, ring them, make an appointment to go and see them, take everything you have, beg with them, plead with them, threaten them, whatever you need to do, make them understand. This could be the end of e-cigs in the EU. It could be the end of e-cigs worldwide. I smell the rotten hand of Big Pharma in this. And I'm not normally one to go in for this kind of conspiracy theory, but this stinks. It's corrupt. It needs to be attacked. We need to make a noise, the loudest noise we've ever made. We know we can do this. 
We need to band together now as one huge community and tell the people in Brussels, tell the Commission, tell our local parliaments, this shall not pass. We won't let it go without making a loud noise about it. And I hope everybody's with me. Now on Wednesday morning, I'm gonna go down and meet one of Jane Ellison's aides because she won't meet me to hand over the letter that the Save ESIGs campaign has pulled together. And thank God it's got thousands of signatures. Please get hold of everybody you know and get them to sign it before noon tomorrow, please. At the very latest, watch Twitter. They'll tell you when the cutoff is so it can all be printed off. I want to go down there with a wheelbarrow. The ITV cameras will be there and we're going to be talking about this on Wednesday night on VT Talk with Chris Choi from the Tonight programme on ITV. I'm doing my best to get this spread as wide as we possibly can. But we all need to help each other. Please, please, please make as much noise as you can. Tweet everywhere. Get on every forum you're a member of. Talk to your local press. Ring your local radio stations to their chat programmes. Get everywhere you can and bring this to everybody's attention, please. This has got to be stopped. We are vapors. We are right. Vapors are voters. Let them know that. Thank you for listening. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes to see if anything comes up in chat, if there are any questions that need to be answered. Um, and if so, I'll answer them as best as I can. But please, please, please do everything you can to make everybody aware of this, to educate MPs, to educate MEPs, educate everybody that you can. This is wrong. There is no other word. Do everything you can. Matt Clock has just said he hasn't been able to go out of his house for over three years, but he's making an appointment with his MP tomorrow. Good on you, Matt. Everybody needs to be doing this. Let's make this the biggest fight they've ever seen. They had no clue what we were capable of doing, and they found out on the 8th of October. Let's do it more. Let's really, really get into this. We need to fight this with the last breath in our body. I certainly will. Are you with me? I really hope so. Thank you for listening. Nothing about us without us. Vape on, vape hard, and do not let the bastards grind you down.